Coming up in this edition, this is what astronauts have come to know as the traditional spacewalk, one tied down to the craft. But on man's second mission to Skylab, a new and remarkable jetpack was tested for the first time, allowing independent movement in space. Greenland's magnificent cap of ice dates back millennia. But are its days numbered? Scientists investigate whether global heating is in fact melting the ice away and with it raising the level of the sea. And the Gemini missions were the dawn of man's spaceflight. The training and experimental grounds where the most basic of sciences were tested. And the techniques that were founded were to stand us in good stead for the next four decades in space. Early one morning, late in July of 1973, a month after the return of the first Skylab crew, Skylab's second man mission was launched with astronauts Bean, Lausner and Garriott aboard. During the eight-hour chase of the satellite, one of the four thrusters used for manoeuvring their command module sprung a leak and it's the thrusters that guide the craft in space as well as align it for safe re-entry into the atmosphere. Even so, Bean still managed to dock perfectly. But six days later, another thruster began leaking and NASA had to perform a rescue in space. Round-the-clock preparations were immediately begun to activate the Skylab rescue vehicle, a rocket assembled and an Apollo craft modified. The Saturn 1B rocket